Hello snowboarders of the internet, I am TC and today we will be reviewing the Yes Warco. This board is equipped with Yes's true camber profile where you do have camber right in between your feet and then just your standard kick on the tip and tail. And what that does is that allows you to hold an edge and pop an ollie with that true camber like you're used to. This board comes in the sizes of a 148, 150, 153, and 155. I rode this board at Copper Mountain where beautiful fresh six inches on a nice sunny day that later in the day turned into slush and became a lot of push piles. I used Vans Infuse boots and I also used my Jones Mercury bindings. When it comes to flex and stability, it is in the middle of the road for flex where it is a nice smooth even flex throughout. When it comes to stability, it is more lively than it is damp where you do feel a little bit of chunder underneath your feet as well as in the later in the day when it did get to more push piles, I felt like the board was kind of being pushed around. When it comes to popping on this board, it does ollie more like a skateboard than a snowboard. So when you really put all your weight into the tail, it doesn't return it quite as much as all of that force underneath your feet there. Uh, I did end up taking it off a few jumps. I would say it maxes out at that mid-level jump where if you get something too big, it's just gonna be a little bit too squirrely, not enough landing gear for you. This board is very butterable. You do have a large surface area on the tip and on the tail where that camber stops right underneath your foot. So you have a nice big surface area for pressing on and really locking it in on. This board isn't the greatest when it comes to those quick short carves where I did feel it was a little slower edge test just because of the, the big tip and tail on it. Um, when you did carve it into fresh powder, it did handle a little bit better. Same goes for those medium carves on more chundery chopped out stuff. It really didn't handle as well when you got into that smoother terrain or fresh pow, it turned a lot better. And pretty much the same goes for those large carves. When I did get it up to speed for a large carve, it kind of chattered out on me where it doesn't really like doing those carves as fast, where slow is more steady on this board. This board is made for somebody that wants to take it on cruisier, mellow powder, or somebody that wants to get into those tighter trees where you're getting those places that most people on a regular size board can't get to. Personally, I thought this board was all right. It's definitely not gonna be my first choice for a volume shifted board where I didn't think it was as damp as say a war pig or anything like that, but it's still a solid board. It really doesn't have a place in my quiver, but I understand the customer base for it. The comparable boards would be a Ride Warpig, Nitro Santaku, or a Jones Mind Expander Twin. The bindings I would put on this board would be a Union Falcor, a Battalion Astro ASIM, or a Now Select Pro. This has been my review of the Yes Warka. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Do you own one? Are you gonna buy one? Leave a comment down below. I wanna know what you guys have to say. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe, click that bell, turn on those notifications. If you wanna support us further, head on over to Angry Snowboarder VIP, become a member. I could tell you more about it right now, but we have a great video over there explaining it further. And as always guys, I'm TC, and we'll see you in the next video.